Queen Miriam has seen the worries of Queen Naomi and now she is ready to show Queen Naomi the way. If at all she's not ready to learn the way from anybody else, she is ready to show Queen Naomi that this is how things are done. Not all of the things that she's busy taking things easy with everybody, showing everybody love. It is time for Queen Naomi to step up her game. It is time for her to go through whatever thing her, she has been thinking about. It is better for her now to act than to watch all of these things go, go in waste. Because now, all of them are busy saying that, oh, Oni has not been treating Queen Naomi right. Oni hasn't been doing this well. Oni has not been doing that well. It is all to Queen Naomi to say all of these things. But if you get to realize it, if you get to see what exactly is happening, you will see that Queen Naomi has kept her cool right from the very start. Without any single person ignoring and saying all of these things in her own decision. Because she has already realized that no matter what exactly she tries to do, no matter what she tries to put her hands in, it is like there is always a forceful force pushing her away. And she has already experienced these things a whole lot of times. And she has said that, well, whatever is going to happen should happen. I am no longer interested in whatever talks Oni is trying to put me in. Well, that is where Olori Miriam comes in. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV, where we bring you top gist from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. Honorary Miriam made her way down to Queen Naomi's house because now she has been hearing the story about Oni and Queen Naomi having a legal battle. And that is something that she herself has seen as the perfect thing for her to make a huge deal with Queen Naomi. Now, she has met up with Queen Naomi and told Queen Naomi that this is what she wants. These are the things, these are the consequences for whatever she's doing. If at all she's ready for this deal, she should carry on. Queen Naomi was like, what exactly is she talking about? Olori Miriam explained to her, saying that all of the things that is going to happen in the palace is because of someone influenced Oni. Someone told Oni she should go ahead with the legal battle. And that is what Oni is busy doing now. But she has a way around it. She has a way of keeping Tade Nikawo in the palace. And that is what she is about to do. That is what she is about to show Queen Naomi. And Queen Naomi was shocked like, how did you know that Oni and I had some legal battle issues and all of that? That what exactly is even going to be in it for her if she definitely decides that she wants to help Queen Naomi? Well, she said that she will be willing to help Queen Naomi carry out whatever plan she has, that she has a actual means of stopping all of these things from happening. And this will make her win the case. This is what will make her win any case at all. So if at all she's ready, then she should be ready and accept this. But at the point where she finds herself in now, she has already made up her mind. She has already said that whatsoever may happen to her, that she's not going to allow Tadenika will leave the palace just like that. So Olo Miriam told her that, see, I will help you keep Tadenikawu, but there is something that you are going to do. There is a minor thing that you have to make sure you accept, and that is going to be final. Whatever you even try to say, I won't accept because I know what exactly these Oloris can talk to you. I know what exactly the Oloris can say to you. So in the midst of all of those things that are happening, you have to know. You have to come to a conclusion whether you are willing to accept this fact or not. The only thing that me myself know is that we must strike that deal. And if that deal is okay, then we are going to be both happy about it. We are going to say, yes, this is a done deal. Queen Naomi was shocked. Like, what exactly is that thing? What exactly does she want to know? So, Olori Miriam told her that she herself can actually let her win the case in court if at all she is willing to give her 20% of her business. And Queen Naomi was shocked like, what sort of deal is that? How exactly will I give you 20% out of the 100% that I am even managing, that I'm even struggling to cope with every single thing? The thing is that the Oloris even have mind, especially this Olori Miriam. You have seen all of the things that are happening in the palace. Instead of you to provide meaningful help, so we to go ahead and say, okay, I'll be willing to help you. There are some things you will do. There are some formalities. Okay, I'm fine. Queen Naomi will be ready, but why are you bringing in some things that are saying that you give, should give you 20%? Like, what sort of thing is that? If you know your business is not going far, if you know the things that you are doing are not working well, 
come and meet Queen Naomi. She will give you an advice on how exactly you can handle your businesses. She will give you advices on what you should do in order to make it happen for yourself. But right now, at this point, it is better for the Oloris now to realize that whatsoever may be happening at this point that they are finding themselves in, it is up to Queen Naomi to make a decision. Queen Naomi has already said she's not going to leave Tadene Kao for even Oni because she notices that this Oloris, especially this Queen uh, Olori Miriam, she is doing too much. Yes, she is doing too much. So instead of her, Instead of her going on and accepting that deal, it is better for her to fight it by herself. Even though it is 10 million she's going to waste, she will waste that money. Because what is all of this nonsense it is happening? Why is it that Oni and his Oloris don't even have any sort of manner at all? They don't have any manner of approach. And it is becoming anyhow. It is becoming so harsh for Queen Naomi. She can't even rest. She can't even have any sort of peace of mind. Is it that she, it is a bad thing to get married to Oni and leave Oni? She has decided to leave all of those things. So why is it that Oni is still coming here ahead and doing all of the things in question? Why is it so? Why is it so? If at all Oni is ready to continue with whatever thing he is doing for Queen Naomi, he should know that these things are because of what he has done in, in the past. So he should not go and blame it on Queen Naomi because she herself knows what she is planning to do in her life. She herself has a meaningful life that she has to take care of. She doesn't have any olory in her mind. So why exactly would they put her? Why exactly would they make the things difficult? Why exactly are they making all of these things hard for her? If at all they are willing to see whatever she can do, then this is the point Queen Naomi needs to show every single one of them that she is not going to accept any form of rubbish at this point where she is. So guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to drop your comments down at the comment section.